Hello my friends, today we are working on a, my March budget. Um, just to let you guys know a little bit about me, I know this video gets suggested to people that haven't watched my videos before. I just want to give a little background on myself. Hi, my name is Emily. Hello everybody. I am 36, I am single, I have no children. If you look back on my channel, this fall I was recently laid off at my primary job where I had been for nine years. After that, I was able to move into my parents' summer home, which is vacant besides my myself right now. They are allowing me to live here rent free while I save up for a home and that has been very very wonderful and is allowing me to now search for homes and I haven't found anything yet just yet but I am very very close to making some very large decisions so if you look back on my channel there are a couple of house hunting videos that are already on there so you will see a very large portion of my income is saved just because of that. After I purchase the home, the budgets will get a lot more kind of realistic, if you will, but I just like to share what I am doing. Um, I'm also a huge fan of Dave Ramsey as well, so I have no debt, um, and I am currently on baby step 3B, which means that I am contributing all my extra to my down payment, and I'm gonna keep going with that even though I have more than the 20% down as of right now. Once the home is, I'm in the home and everything's good to go, then I'll be starting on the baby step four, five, and six. So anyway, I'll leave the Dave Ramsey link, 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 link below down there um, if you guys want to check it out. Also, um, I found this new thing on Erin Condren. I don't think it's new, but it's new to me. This is a monthly bill tracker and it is like a, just a plastic piece which is kind of cool and then with the red wet erase markers you can like just put in the kind of bills you have and then you can check off as the months go obviously these haven't happened yet i was just testing the colors that i got from erin condren so um like grocery dining clothing giving um like these are kind of like quarterly things like doyle meds auto tabs life insurance on the back is really cool too it's like a little savings tracker and then on the bottom there are like some little categories too so i wanted to show this in this video so you guys could see um also, the planner that I'm working in is also an Erin Condren product as well as every everything's Erin Condren today, okay, you guys? But this is a monthly deluxe planner, and um, this is in the, I think it's just like the coil, I think you can pick the coil, and I just got the silver one because it's the cheapest, you know, whatever. Um, I'm on a budget, y'all. So this is for March, but let's look back at February. February is not over yet. Um, today is the 19th. I went to Subway today. Don't judge me, but it was in the cash envelope. Lopes. And also, I actually recently watched um, Jen Plans, her video on how she's setting up her monthly budget, and it actually got me thinking. So anything that's really in the cash envelope system, I don't know if I'm going to put on here anymore, unless it's over and above the cash envelope system, if that makes sense. Because I feel like I'm kind of like deducting out of my checking account, which those are already cash envelopes anyway, so it kind of doesn't make sense. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for March, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. So in February, my budget wasn't totally bust. Here was kind of what I was thinking was going to happen, but there were a couple of things that happened um, in February that I wasn't expecting. So um, I totally forgot that I needed an oil change, which was $62. Also, my tax preparer called me and very unexpectedly had an appointment pretty early in the tax season. So I scooped up that appointment, plus I needed to ask her a bunch of questions because after I filmed my budget for February in January, I started my own business. Uh, my own business is actually this, it's my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna be running everything through Favorite Daughter Emily LLC now. So if you see things that aren't on here that I've shown in videos, that's because on the advice of my tax preparer, I am running those things through my business funds now. So like hauls or anything I'm really showing in a video is now deemed a prop. Um, we looked at the legalities of it and that is what I am doing. So if you see things that are not on here, if you're watching my channel really, really closely, um, that is where those funds are. So that's totally different in my business account, which I will not be sharing on YouTube. So anyway, I just wanted to get that out of the way as to who I am, what's going on, all that good stuff. So let's start in with March. 
Um, and then the only upcoming expense that could possibly be happening is going to be my nephew's birthday, Jackson's birthday right here. That is in March. However, my brother, um, his dad, obviously, is um, coming to visit with him, but I think it might actually be in April. So we are actually going to celebrate when my brother comes. Um, Jackson is just is turning two, so he doesn't really know the difference anyway, so I don't know. They're doing something, and it's, either way, I'm going and it's gonna be a good time. So let's see here. I'll put in this little guy here. And this sticker sheet is from Erin Condren. I think this was in my EC, my like surprise box, my quarterly surprise box, but um, I think that you can get some of these in some of their sticker sheets now. Like I said, the link will be below for you guys. If it's your first time ordering from Erin Condren, you can also get um, a $10 off unique coupon code emailed to you if it's your first time. Um, if not, that's okay. The information will still be below for you guys. So yeah, all right, what do I need to do? I always have to end up like, whoa. I always have to end up look, looking at last week, or not last week, last month, to kind of see how I lay this out because I always like the way it looks. So I am going to do, I'm just gonna write the word budget right in here. And then I've got these stickers that are cute and metallic. I'm just throw this bad boy right up there. That looks kinda cute. All right, so my average income um, this past month in the, you know, in, in the month that we're currently in, which is not March, which is February, I've actually been earning a little bit more because I've literally been staying at least 15 minutes to an hour late every single day. So, um, but I'm still gonna go off of my average, which is the 657.54, which is if I only work 40 hours a week. Um, so yeah, but let's just go off of that and then we'll get this party started. And there's actually five weeks in March, so there'll be five paydays in March. Also within the month of March, since I already did my taxes, I should be getting my, the bulk of, well not the bulk, the entire refund back in the month of March. I haven't received it yet. So I'm gonna put that into the March budget because honestly the entire thing is gonna be going right into my savings account anyways. I'm not really allocating any place for it besides to go towards my house fund. So let me actually get that total and then I'm gonna write it in over here. So there is my tax refund that I am getting back for this year. I know a lot of you are looking at it going, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. You need to adjust your taxes. Um, what we ended up doing is because I had already started my business in 2017, is we were able to go back and do some depreciated stuff for, um, you know, my, my, my business, if you will. So that's why the refund is so high this year. And then now that I'm gonna be pushing everything differently through the LLC and not my personal, um, things will kind of fluctuate. So I did ask her if we needed to adjust what I was withholding at my like regular job. And she said, no, not at all. And what we are gonna be doing going forward is we are gonna meet back up in, I think June or July. And we're gonna take a look at everything through the business and everything through my personal. And then I might adjust my personal tax withholding at that time but um, we're gonna just kind of figure that out as we go. So I just like to be very clear about why things look the way they do because it's a little like, wow, that's a healthy refund. Um, I'm sure some of you get a lot more and I'm sure some of you get a lot less too. Um, you know, just depends on your situation and how much you're essentially withholding. So put a little line here and put down the total. And this is just like my total incoming from my work. And then with the refund, we'll put that over here. So with the refund, it would be five, five, eight, eight, seventy. Okay, cool. All right, so that's done. <clears throat> I feel like this video is gonna be really long, so sorry. I'm going to take from here. Wow, these are not cut very well. There it goes. Here we go. All right, let's take this little guy here. I like to separate my things and make them look pretty. You know what I mean, you guys? Well, if you're watching this, you know that I do decorative stuff because why the heck not? All right, so I've got all my categories, which I will fill in in just a moment here. Okay, so that section is kind of done, but I gotta fill it all in and then I'll do my bottom section in just a moment. All right, so then my gas is usually around the 200 mark, so I'll put down $200. Um, personal household, I'm gonna leave that blank for just a moment. Um, as for Jackson, his birthday, I'm just gonna put $100 
This might actually push into April. If we're not having the get together until then, then I'm gonna make another line item for April. I'm just really not sure, but I'm gonna factor it in anyways. If it's not used this month, I will end up just putting it towards my house fund, which will be just fine. Um, as for giving, I wanna stay consistent at the $200 mark. By the way, I did um, my giving already for the month of February, and I have to tell you, I really, really enjoy it. Um, I ended up giving to a local high school and donating some items as well as some cash. So um, they were very appreciative and I'm really excited to keep giving. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep giving to the same organization or if I want to end up doing something else and kind of switching it up. I think it's going to be however the wind blows me, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, as for personal and household, let's do like, um, let's do like 160. Um, that's, you know, personal things like if I need like shampoo or conditioner or paper towels, toilet paper, like uh, laundry soap, like anything that I need that's extra. Um, as for my grocery and dining, um, usually it's about $50 a week and there's five weeks in this month. So I'm going to do 250. I normally do just like $200 flat. And then for my dining budget, I'm just going to do around $80. I have some potential meetings coming up with some people that we're going to be doing like a dining out kind of a thing. So I just want to have enough buffer in there. Um, you will notice that my planning and my clothing budget are now missing. Um, that is because I am running that through the business now. Because really, if I'm going to buy any clothing, I'm probably going to be doing a haul anyways. So that kind of defeats the purpose of putting it into this budget. It's this whole long thing. If you guys want to know more about the business like let me know in the comments um i don't know who would be interested but if you are let me know i have no idea let me get these all totaled up and then i will do a grand total on the bottom okay so my totals for projected outgoing are uh kind of more of my set expenses are the 921.69 and then for my cash envelopes um, my set expenses for the month are going to be $330, so that's what I need to go get out in cash. Then let me make a total on the bottom, and then we'll be all set. By the way, I did forget to mention, if you're interested um, in any of these stickers that are on the main page here, whoops, these guys, um, they are from Coffee Break Planner. I will leave the link below as well as a fancy little coupon code for you. So the incoming total is $5,588.70. And then the outgoing is $1,251.69. So then, as for the house fund, I am able to save over $4,000 this month, which will be very, very helpful with all the closing costs and whatnot that I have to um, deal with very, very soon, hopefully. So anyway, that is it for my March budget. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to as many of you as I possibly can. I will also be leaving a link to my Money Talk playlist down below if you wanna see other budgets or how I set up some stuff for 2017. Um, all of that kind of stuff will be down below for you guys. If it's your first time here and you like planner, budgeting, fancy schmancy little videos, feel free to hit the red subscribe button. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And every once in a while, I will have a bonus video for you guys too, so that's kind of exciting. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!